Hey guys, Orgy Sanchez coming at you with a basic bitch black mage guide for Stormblood. If you come from Heaven's Ward, then there won't be many changes for you, just the new 60 to 70 skills. The rotation is relatively the same with a few new changes, and the opener is different as well. And if you are a fresh black mage that has only just started, this is going to be a lot of information for you to take up. So I'm going to go over the opener, the rotation, melds, and just basic things you should be doing as a black mage. So for starters, when you practice your opener and stuff, you want to come through this battle scarred veteran, and to find him, he is outside Rolgar's Reach. So teleport to Rolgar's Reach, and then come outside the gate, and then he is right over here. Also, to unlock him, you must have done the Stone Sky Sea from the Heaven's Ward, and that is unlocked in Idleshire, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's get into the opener. I will put a slow motion opener of me in the end without me talking, so that you guys can follow that instead of listening to me ramble on about the opener while I'm doing it. But for starters, here we go, we'll do the opener. So you want to start with Blizzard 3, Thunder 3, Leyline's Eno, and then Blizzard 4, you want to go Fire 3, and now you go Fire 4, Fire 4, Fire 4, Sharp Cast, Fire 1, Fire 4, Fire 4, then you're gonna hit the proc, you're gonna convert, and you're gonna do more Fire 4s. Fire 4, one more Fire 4, Blizzard 3, Thunder 3, Blizzard 4, Bow, Fire 3, Sharp Cast, Fire 4, Fire 4, Fire 4, I'm just gonna use Swift Cast because I can. This is a normal fight, you would just save it. Or not save it, just use it at like good times in the fight. Now this is just the basic rotation. So you want to keep going, Blizzard 3, go Blizzard 4, and then Thunder 3. Foul. It's got a nice timing, I use it during Blizzard, so your MP stays up. Fire 3, and always do four fire four, uh, 3 fire 4s because you're using up your, your hearts. So you see a little gauge on the left there. And you extend it, and your, your Thunder 3 procs you always want to use as late as possible. So it saves you from casting. So right now I'm going to do this proc, and then I'm going to have to do the Thunder 3 proc, because it's about to fall off. One more Fire 4, and Ley Lines is back. There's nothing for you to time with Ley Lines anymore, because you don't have Raging Strikes. So, use Ley Lines off cooldown pretty much now. Unless there's something going to happen in the fight where you know you won't get the... You won't get about at least 90% of the duration of ley lines, then you want to hold on to it. But unless that happens, do not hold on to ley lines. And as you can see, my Thunder 3 proc, I mean my Thunder 3 did just fall off, but Thunder 3 is not a big issue for us anymore. Never was really. Thunder 3. Fail. And I don't like to use triple cast during ley lines, because to me it feels like a waste. Because you're already casting faster, so you'll just be clipping yourself on GCDs. And sharp cast you want to use off cooldown, or you want to use it at the time when you know there's going to be a lot of movement or something, so you want to keep your stacks during a fight. So just little things that you have to figure out while you're playing. I'm going to cheese right now and sharp cast to fail just to beat the dummy. But that is the rotation right there. That is the basic rotation to maintain. I will put it in slow motion at the end of the video for you guys, and I'll also put in the text thingy where you can see it, um, all the skills that I use while I'm doing it, if watching it is too much. And then that's basically the rotation and the opener all in one right there. Now for melds, you would always want to get spell speed for your melds, because you can't meld intellect, sadly, because it's capped on your gear. So that right now my gear is all melded for Red Mage and Summoner, so don't look at my gear. But spell speed is what you would be getting on everything, and then what you could not put spell speed on, you would get direct hit for. Spell speed, direct hit, crit, dead is what I would say the stat weights are for black mages right now. I haven't done any number crunching, but spell speed always wins on black mage, and direct hit is really good right now with the gear levels and stuff we have. So spell speed, direct hit, crit. As you can see, I have a lot of direct hit and crit because this is for my... Summoner and black, I mean Summoner and what's that thing? Red mage, baby mage. 
Um, other things that it could be is AoE rotations. Let me show you guys an AoE rotation. Show you how to get a triple flare. You can do a quadruple flare if you use a mana potion. I do not have any mana potions because I'm lazy. So, if you want to do that, you'll have to buy yourself some mana pots. Or if you have a really coordinated caster buddy with you, he can um, give you MP with that skill. What's it called? This thingy, mana shift. Oh, well, yeah, this is what you would be using as a black mage for your cross classes. I did not use the version in my opener, I should have. I'll put it in when I do the slow motion for you guys, but yes, always use the version in your opener or you will die 90% of the time. And at all, you could, you could drop um, mana shift or lucid for at all. I only have lucid because aggro, but yeah, I would probably drop that for at all. Okay, let's get into the AoE rotation. So if you're pulling a big AoE, this is just for dungeons and things, you would go Blizzard 3, Ley Lines, and then you go Thunder 4, Eno, Blizzard 4, and then you do this, and you do Sharp Gas, 1 Flare, 2 Flare, Convert, 3 Flare, and then you want to do that. And there's another on the four proc. And then you can just do the normal player two spam. And fail obviously, so you do these. And when you get procs on AoE pulls, just use them straight away. Because you can get another proc and there's a lot of damage gonna go out. And that's basically all there is to the AoE rotation. And if the mobs are getting low to dying, then you might as well. Uh, um, use flare, that's what I use. I use flare as a finish early. Or once your MP is getting low. You can do two flares without convert. Because of um, the hearts. And you just transpose. Spam this. Spam this. And foul. But yeah, my DPS is terrible right now because this is AoE. <laughs> And that's really all there is to Black Mage. It's not hard to learn the rotation, so to say. It's more about planning in the fights and knowing where to stand. Knowing the fight has always been the hardest fight for a Black Mage. So study up on the fights, pay attention, and you will do great as a Black Mage. Remember to always be casting. And then there's some higher level tips about Black Mage where sometimes you'll only have, like, you'll fuck up somewhere with MP and you won't have enough to do a Blizzard 3 or something. So then you just use a blizzard one. The main thing about black mage DPS is never stop casting. Because if you stand there waiting a GCD for your MP tick, then you're missing out on a whole cast. And since our casts are so long, that's really bad if you're not casting. So main thing, always be casting. Never not be casting anything. Utility wise for raids, we don't offer much. Apocostasis used to be a thing, but you have to cross class it now. Uh, Adol we do have, so that's always good since only casters can use Adol. That's basically old Virus, but not as good, because Virus used to be better. But that is all there is to Black Mage, guys. Thank you, and I hope it helped. I will put all the links and stuff in the description. Enjoy, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll bring out a Red Mage guide soon, so stay tuned. I'll get sent out.